Hi. Hi, YouTube. -ies. It's me, Zachary Michael. How you doing? How's it going? Well, I hope. Did he already text me back? <laughs> <laughs> he did text me back. He's okay. Right before I started the recording, YouTubies, I need you to know that I texted my stylist to ask him <laughs> if, if he did fairy hair. And he just said, What's that? LMAO. So I'm gonna have to educate him after, <laughs> after the stream is over. Uh, Ty means tired. Thanks so much for subscribing with Prime. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll educate Tim after after the stream's over. I am going to see him next week, love, so love, love, my queen, it would be it would be a great time, a great time to get fairy hair if he does it. <laughs> Toxic Peach, thanks so much for uh, subscribing at tier one. Love, I appreciate love, love, it. Prima, we, we. Appreciate it, and thanks for the one bit. Annie loves you. Okay, so <laughs> anyways. Anyways, today we're gonna react to to Darlene. Um, it's been a while since love, we love, reacted love to cream. Darlene me show. Let's all get fairy hair. Let's let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for the bits. I draw people and animals. Um, today we're reacting to Darlene, and uh, we have on Twitch we have a long history with Miss Darlene. Uh, we've been reacting to her for a while. Uh, I'll try to do a, a too long didn't watch, but basically the things you need to know about her is we found her and she was complaining about a moving company and she was being kind of a Karen about a moving company. And then I was like, I need to know more about this lady. And so then we found some videos of her cutting her hair with a, a kitchen knife. And then, <laughs> and then, and then we watched a bunch of videos about her carnivore diet, which is just kind of cray cray. And today I assume will be more about her carnivore diet because she lost 10 more pounds, a total of 140 pounds total so far with, with the carnivore diet. She loves the carnivore diet. If you don't know what it is, well, basically a lot of the carnivore diet stuff I've also, um, covered on my main YouTube channel. So if you're familiar uh, we, we followed along as she did a 72 hour sardine fast where all she ate for 72 hours was sardines. All right. So Darlene, the sardine queen, is it, is it all coming back to you? Um, she talks about how she doesn't, uh, she, she doesn't get constipated. Her, her, the beef she eats just turns into piss. She said that before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, love, we've love, covered her love, a lot, love, um, we, we, on both Twitch. Your volume is weird, bestie, and I have a fairy hair appointment. Can we get a move on? Now, Brenda, I know you're trolling. I know you're trolling with the audio comment, because, because it is fine, Brenda, don't do this. Don't do this. I'm trying to educate. This is all part of the, the... The process here. We need to educate the girls on um, on Darlene, just in case people haven't been around. I want people to have context. Okay. Now, little birdie, I appreciate the karaoke request, but we're not we're not doing it. I I already told you, if you request karaoke at this point, I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna reject it. I'm gonna reject it. You gotta listen. You got. You gotta use your listening ears today. <laughs> Who y'all y'all are trying me? You really want Josh to come out today? You really want Josh to come out? Oh my god! All right, so we're reacting to Darlene. She's lost another ten pounds. Also, we gotta we gotta give props to old Just Poopy Jamie in the chat because this she she is my she's always been my uh, Darlene vetter. She always vets the the Darlene videos for me, and it's been a long time since Jamie has come to me and said, "Zach, this one's worth it. This one this one will be good." Okay, so. Thank you to Jamie. How did this get here? Where did that come from? Uh, thank you to Jamie. 
We appreciate it. Everybody in the chat say thank you, Jamie. Everybody in the comments say, th well, listen, I don't have to tell the comments to say it because this is a little bit of a spoiler alert, but there are always comments on the Twitch re-upload channel about people loving Jamie, which I haven't said until now because Jamie's ego doesn't need to get too big. <laughs> We don't need we don't need Jamie's ego to get too big, but <laughs> all right. And then also, if you're ready to get started with uh, the old Darlene Me Show, put some sixty nines in the chat. All right, can we do that today? Appreciate it. Also, in, in terms of other... Oh, and the Lisa... Okay, while people are putting 69s in the chat, I said this at the end of yesterday's Twitch re-upload, but in case you didn't stay all the way to the end of yesterday's, um, I do just want to give a shout-out to Lisa. She did an Ulta haul and get ready with me on her channel um, using some a, a gift from me. I gifted her a gift card. Uh, and I think she was being really vulnerable and coming on camera with no makeup and doing her makeup. And it was a fun little video. And uh, if y'all could just like, I'm not going to react to it here. So if y'all could um, go give Lisa some love, watch the video, leave a comment, hit like, all of those things. I think, I think Lisa would really appreciate that. And I would really appreciate that. So if you could go give some love to the old Lisa Halls, that would be great. All right, now we're actually going to get started. Let's see what old Darlene me show. Let me make sure the volume is everywhere it needs to be. Because you're everywhere to me. Um, all right, let's go. Hi, everyone. It's me, Darlene. Hi. I am back, finally, with a new weight loss update. Those of you who have been following me yes, for many go. years, or at least for the past year or so, you know that I went carnivore, and I've actually reached my seven year anniversary. It was that's uh, November a, of 2016. That's a I, long time to never have a vegetable. <laughs> that's, that's a long time to never have a vegetable. Started, I think it was November 17 to be exact. And now we are in uh, November of 2023. I am not going to get into all of that. I will sure. you know, give you an update as sure. to the way I'm eating right now, it's pretty much the same. She does she does have like I think a whole carnivore playlist if y'all really wanna like jump down that rabbit hole. And of course I have a, a whole playlist. Well, do I have a Darlene playlist? I don't know if I have a Darlene playlist, but I do have videos, like I already pointed out, if you want to get caught up. Do we think she did this haircut with a kitchen knife? I would guess so. I would guess so. And in April of this year, I um, had reached a 100-pound weight loss over a long period. Sure. And I posted it, and then I told you guys that I would post every time I lost 10 more pounds. And I've done that three times. Oh, my so God. So I had a video for... But uh, also at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? You know, the thing that I think about now when it comes to carnivore... And, and I'm sure her response, because she's said this response in the past, like she doesn't, she will, I think she refuses to get labs done, like lab work done, blood work done and things like that. Uh, because I think her claim, if I recall correctly, is her claim is that, um, her claim is that like all of the like science out there related to people's health is all based on, uh, a, a, a a diet with plants in it and because of that you can't you can't trust any of that as a carnivore or something like that like i'm not even kidding i'm pretty sure that's like the stuff that she has said when people have asked her like what her blood work labs look like and things like that but you know i i've recently come into some like heart related concerns and things like that in my life and i'm just thinking about, you know, I, I have gotten a lot of mixed messaging about how I should eat, but literally, like, the most consistent thing that I've got, messaging that I got, is, like, lean protein veggies, like, <laughs> like, to focus on those things. 
So I, I'm just really curious now with like that information in my head about how I need to eat is like, what, what, what is this doing to Miss Girly? <laughs> you know, with just her butter, her butter and her beef. Um, big vegetable control slap work. Darlene has beef with big, not beef with big vegetable. Why listen to actual scientifically backed advice when you can listen to the advice of edge lord and doctors who had their medical license revoked? You know what? That's so true. Cause I did, I did a video on my main YouTube channel about how one of the, the doctor that she was citing for the sardine challenge, like, did have her medical license revoked in the state of South Dakota. 110 pounds, 120, 130 pounds lost. And today is my 140 pounds lost update. This time, it took me three and a half months to lose 10 pounds. Okay. I think the quickest I ever did it was in five weeks. And again, for those of you who have been following me all this time, you know that I'm doing carnivore for many reasons. Uh -huh. uh, the important ones are no joint pain. Uh, it helps with depression. It um, For people who have, like, skin issues, it's really, really good for that. Yeah, she also update. She thinks that carnivore will cure everything. You got a problem, you name it, carnivore, car carnivore, Carnivore will cure it. So, yeah. Skin problems, depression. Um, and you know what? Like, I remember saying similar things about keto, so I can't really fault her for that. I think keto helped my mental health just because I wasn't eating, like, shit in general. <laughs> but, like, I'm not convinced just eating beef and butter makes you happier. I, I think she's just, like, resistant to going to a therapist. <clears throat> my joy is the loss of cravings <laughs> it's awesome loss of <laughs> cravings and uh, no joint pain unless I do a little bit too much dairy the joint pain comes back but the minute I stop hey, that hate doing too much dairy oh, I really do that's really going to be my struggle is like you got to talk about stuff that has high cholesterol that old dairy industry it goes away uh, those are my two big things. And then would butter help my hemorrhoids? I based on what Darlena well, shared, well, I think so. Oh, wait, wait. Butter <laughs> isn't dairy though, guys. <laughs> you know what, Jamie? I forgot about that. Thanks for those bits. And a side effect is that you happen to lose weight when you do this. Oh, so you just, that's another important thing about Darlene. I'm sure she's going to get into some crazy stuff soon, but what you need to know about her is that despite giving updates every 10 pounds about the weight that she's lost and like constantly letting people know how much weight she's lost, it was never about losing weight. Okay. It was, it was never about losing weight. It just so happens that she lost weight. Oh. It took me three and a half months. And let me explain to you how that felt for me. The last update when I lost 130 pounds total, it brought me down to 208. Okay. I started at 338 pounds. That's the highest I saw on my scale. I really do think I went higher than that. So at 208, I knew that when I lost 10 more pounds for another update, that I would be under 200 pounds, uh -huh. right? That was exciting to me because I haven't seen but it's not about, uh, a one it's not at about the, the front weight loss. of... The weight loss is just the side effect, Darlene. My weight uh, for over 30 years. That's what I'm saying. How is she shitting? She's not. She, she's not. She brags about not shitting regularly. She she does, she does claims she doesn't have to shit because the beef turns into piss. I'm, I'm not joking when I say that. That is what she claims. That's why we talk about the beef piss all the time in here. So August 11, I reached 208. And then I let it get Not to my head a little a bit. And I got screen. excited about seeing uh, 198. And I, uh, I started uh, worrying and weighing myself like every day after that weigh-in. And it's I don't like to that. do that. So... I weighed myself for like three weeks, and in that three weeks, I would see anything from the 208 
to 209 to uh -huh. 207. So I was just playing with a matter of two pounds for three weeks and it was driving me crazy. And I actually considered restricting the amount of meat that I was eating. And I <laughs> said, no, I cannot. No, you can't, you can't do that. Your, your philosophy has always been, you just eat meat whenever you want it. You are a meat fiend. <laughs> you love the meat. I cannot do that because that's not what carnivore is about. Carnivore is that you eat all the meat you need to be satisfied and just let it do its thing. <laughs> But I did now try. The disordered eating is coming from inside the house, girly pop. I, that's honestly, truly my, I mean, like, the thing that I struggle with, like, returning to darling content about is just that she, she thinks that this is like, cured all of her problems and her relationship with food because she doesn't have cravings and things like that. But when it gets down to it, like... She doesn't, she claims she has a, a good relationship with food, but it's, it's not a good relationship with food if, like, you're restricting yourself to only eating meat and that's all you allow yourself. It's harder to just really focus on beef, but I had a lot of other meat too. I mean, I do eat chicken and pork. I, I had a lot of, I put a, a lot whole of shitload of beef in, in a bowl. And then I'll cook other meats wait, and I consider. Wait. A whole shit lot of other meat too. I mean, I do eat chicken and pork. I put a whole shitload of beef. I a love a shitload of beef, but funny enough, what she's not having is a shitload of beef. <laughs> she's she's having a piss load of beef, maybe, but <laughs> but she's not having a shitload in a bowl. And then I'll cook other meats, and I consider them like a side dish. So. Uh, you know, and it can even be things like pepperoni uh -huh. or um, some sausages or whatever. And this year, I also added butter because I'm now doing high-fat carnivore for this wait, past year. can you imagine being like, mm, I can't wait to get down to business with my big old bowl of ground beef <laughs> and my side of pepperoni. Mm-mm-mm. And I, I think I was slacking a little bit on the amount of butter I was eating, so I really tried to slacking? make sure I got in my one and a half sticks of butter. Uh, and I know it sounds crazy, but you know, the she, more I eat, the better it works for me. I, I think, I think she's gone up in the amount of butter she eats a day, right? Because it used to be just a stick of butter a day, but now, but now it's um, a stick and a half <laughs> per day. Uh, you might have to refer her to your cardiologist after all the butter. I don't even think he'd give a shit about the butter. He'd be like, how many eggs you eat a day? <laughs> how many eggs you eat a day? You can have aged meat, smoked meat, canned meat, steamed meat. Meat is so versatile. So versatile. I love a versatile meat. Thanks, Brenda, for the biddies. Does she eat eggs? I think maybe... I don't know, actually, to be honest with you. I think she did once upon a time. So that brought me to, like, the end of August is when I stopped weighing oh, Cindy myself. Does, but now it's November, Darlene so does. all of September, all of October, and... She does indeed drink butter. She'll melt that shit down and drink it. Sometimes she'll put it in some, like, hot water to make, like, a butter tea. I think that's how she's described it. In the past, um, but yeah, she does, in fact, drink butter frequently. I weighed myself the day after Thanksgiving, um, whatever day that was. Let me look real quick. Thanksgiving was the 23rd, and so Judy. I weighed myself on Friday. Judy, I don't think you want to be blah, in blah, here. Blah, my cream on wheat, wheat. <laughs> I don't think you want to be in here. Zucky Musk, thank you so much for those bits. You want in? Oh, she already walked away. <laughs> she was already walking back down the hallway. <laughs> I opened it up. All I see is her little tail wagon. <clears throat> Friday the 24th. And I was telling you guys that I wasn't getting on the scale. And I also told you guys that I don't think I've lost 10 pounds. In fact, I thought I had gained. And who knows, in that time period you might of have. over knows? two months, uh, all of... September, October, and a good chunk of November, 
I did not weigh myself, so I might have been going up and down, up and down. But for some reason, on November 24th, I decided I'm going to weigh myself and just okay. see where I am. Let's and I go. was shocked to see that I had lost six pounds. And I was really happy. And again, I don't know if I went up and down. I was coming in six is, pounds less. <laughs> it so is honestly... <laughs> This is also how I know that, like, her her thoughts around this diet are probably not healthy. I mean, again, not an expert. I, I, I always got to make that disclaimer. But, like, I don't think it takes an expert to hear her, hear the way she talks about things and not be like, you're not thinking about this in a great way. Because, again, she claims she doesn't care about the weight loss. Her, her claim is that weight loss is just, uh, you know, uh, a side effect. It's just something extra. But she's like, oh my gosh, I got on the scale. I was so happy to see I lost six pounds. So what is it? <laughs> what is it, Ellen? She always talks about how carnivore isn't for weight loss, but she's always mentioning how many... Exactly, Miss Par Parmesan. That brought me to 202. I was like, what the fuck? I'm getting so close. So we to 202. I was like, what the fuck? I'm getting so close. So when I get close to the next I'm 10 pounds. I'm close? I'm, I'm so close? I'm gold. I start weighing myself more because I want to hit it when I actually reach that goal. Uh, so I started weighing myself every day. It was 202 that day on uh -huh. that Friday. Saturday, I was up to 203. Okay. Sunday, I was down to 201. Okay. And today is Monday, and I was 198. One fucking 98. Oh, I could God. not believe it. I was like, yes. And his proof. <laughs> yes, coming through like one of the girls. <laughs> Alexa, play Troy Savon's One of the Girls. <laughs> oh, my God. What if I made a parody of... Of Troy Savon's One of the Girls. <laughs> but it was like girls, you know? That's actually our anthem. Do y'all remember, for those of you that were around, do you remember when we, we talked about, like, the code word to... <laughs> So like, like how, you know, um, gay people used to refer to themselves as friends of Dorothy. <laughs> Could we? And we, we started saying that we were like friends of the girls or something like that. <laughs> that's what, that's what it was making me think about. I'll be like one of your girls or your nobies. Diet Sony. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, love that. And I got to see that with my own eyeballs. So that was really exciting. Now I won't weigh myself for a few weeks because oh, I don't won't. ever want to see a two again. And I could fluctuate. I mean, we all Absolute, fluctuate. Absolutely. So I'm just going to stay off the scale for a while. I know it'll take me a chunk of time to lose the next 10. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> what you don't know doesn't hurt you, bestie. Also, I'm curious. I mean, I know she's not doing this for weight loss, but I'm curious, like, how much she's trying to lose. Because I'm also, like, I don't know how tall she is, but 198, I I don't know, to me feels like a normal weight. I, I mean, I'm not 198. I'm several more pounds than that, so. And who knows? Might be six months. I don't care. But at this point, I think I'll weigh myself maybe, I don't yeah. know, maybe <laughs> mid-December. Uh, absolutely, Maya. Weighed herself every day, and now she's avoiding the scale at all costs. Very normal behavior, because she's afraid of seeing a two on the scale. That's, like, that's... Maybe something like that. I'm going to wait at least two or three weeks. And if I feel like maybe I haven't lost weight, or I'm just not in the mental mood to get on the scale thinking, oh, if it went up, I'm going to have a fucking meltdown. Then I just don't why weigh you, myself. You why know? would you have a meltdown about it? <laughs> Bestie, why are we, why are we going to have a meltdown about it if you don't care? If you don't care. She doesn't want to confront any cognitive dissonance. Absolutely. No. 
I thought I was going to wait until the end of the year for this, but I decided to go ahead and, and weigh myself. So maybe I'll go till the end of December. Maybe we let's, can do let's that. Let's do it. New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I don't know. But I'm very happy. Okay, so what I'm eating still, it's the same as okay. always. Oh, and before I forget, I have two playlists. Actually, I have three oh, playlists see, I already told that you I will link this. down below in the description box the of this video. One is this playlist of my 10 pound losses. Okay. Uh, the other one is my carnivore journey from 2016 to 2022. Okay. The end of 2016 to the end of 2022. And then now a new playlist for high fat carnivore that started at the beginning of this year, Stunning. 2023. Where I'm is the sardine videos on I that. looked at the video and I will send you to it, but I know I'm gonna probably get shit from people. I went to the first video and watched it probably for the first time ever. I mean, I obviously see my videos when I'm editing, but I don't usually watch them. Uh, I was in my car uh -huh. in Hannaford's parking lot on that day that I was starting Carnivore. I had just learned about it the night before. And I'm telling you, when people say, uh -huh. I'll start Monday or I'll start after these groceries are gone. No, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> I started in my head in the middle of the night when I learned about it. <laughs> and I, I, I do, I do to some extent agree with that notion, like, uh, I, for anything, right? For, for anything, I agree with that notion of like, if you, if you set some future date of like, when you're going to get started, you probably will never start. I mean, we see that with, we used to see, I don't think she does it as often anymore, but we used to see that with Amberlynn, for example, a lot where she'd be like, well, I'm going to get a fresh start on Monday. And it's like, girly pop, let's start today. Uh, but my the issue I do take with with uh, Darlene talking about it in this case is like, her advice and other videos has been like, well, I got started on it immediately. I did my research later, so you all should too. And that is a wild concept to me. I mean, obviously, she's just found research that has, you know confirmed what she wants to hear but like I think if you're considering restricting that intensely <laughs> like that crazily then like potentially you you got some things to 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 consider you know couldn't get to the store fast enough in the morning and I've never looked back it was uh, I believe November 17 2016 I was at the store stocking up on meat Me? and in that conversation I was kind of surprised to hear that I uh, I talked about my drinking and I, I talked about it in a way that I no longer talk about it somewhere in there I, I was saying how I don't know oh I think it was that I was saying that I'll try it and if I don't like it maybe I could go to doing carnivore just during the week and then eating whatever other ways I want on the weekend. See, okay. I do not promote that anymore because carnivore is so Wait, pure. Didn't she also say at some point that we were going to get upset about something? I <laughs> didn't, didn't. I'm like, what are we about to get upset about? What, what am I going to be mad at her about? I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, for what it's worth also, just so you know, um... She has been, I don't know how long she's been sober from alcohol, but, like, being an alcoholic is, like, uh, is, is an identity for her. Like, she does talk about her sobriety a lot. Um, and so I'm also curious what her sobriety has to do with this. I wonder if she's making, like, a comparison of, like, oh, I can, like, stop drinking, but I, I'll stop drinking during the week and I'll drink on the weekends or something. I'm wondering if that, that's the comparison she's gonna make. Um, and I'm also, right before I paused, she said that carnivore is so pure. And I, I'm like, what does that even mean? See, I do not promote that anymore because carnivore is so pure and it gets rid of your cravings so easily. It's like they just go away that <laughs> things so easily. It's like they just go, go away. away. <laughs> that. Why did she say? that go away what it, it sounds like she was doing a bad donald trump impersonation <laughs> go away it was very trump coded to me cheating or treating yourself 
is just a ticket to disaster. Okay. Why would you treat yourself with poison? That's how I feel. Not the poison! It doesn't, it doesn't tempt me to have vegetables on my plate She thinks. Thanksgiving. She I, thinks vegetables are poison. Just so, just so you know what she means when she says poison. I did not indulge in anything other than my carnival way of eating for Thanksgiving because... I want to celebrate the best way, and that's by feeling really good about how I spent that day with my way of eating, right? That's the treat to me. That is the treat. So in the video okay. I'm going to send you to watch, I was saying something like that, and I knew within four days, I think, of eating a carnivore that I was never going back. That's how quick... I was hooked to it. I don't even know. I might have even decided that on day one. I, okay. I ate all kinds of meat, and I didn't drop dead. I was like, okay, I'm good. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> but you, I, you thought you were gonna drop dead after four days of eating meat? I think I think the long term concerns about only eating meat are are the larger issue. You know, <laughs> like the the larger issues like. The long-term side effects of only eating meat, only eating beef, only eating butter. That's, that, I, I wouldn't expect you to drop dead after four days <laughs> of being a, on the carnivore diet. Mentioned in there something like about alcohol, just like with alcohol. If I was to go out with some girl friends or whatever to a Chinese restaurant, I'm going to be having a scorpion bowl. That's bizarre to me that I would have said that. But here's the deal. In the beginning, I used to tell myself, uh, when it was really hard at the beginning to not oh, want to drink, at the very beginning, I would always say, if I still feel like drinking tomorrow, I will drink. I will absolutely drink. I don't care if it's first thing in the morning. If I want to drink tomorrow, I will let myself drink. And that I, I don't know what a scorpion bull is. I don't know how I feel about the comparisons to, like, her alcoholism. Because, like... Alco Judy's now. Judy got in here. The door closed behind her, and now she wants out. Judy, Jude, you want out? No, girly pop. Make make an assessment. Make an assessment, girl. Do you want in or out? I can't do this with you, Judy. Come say hi. Come show proof of life. <laughs> Let the girlies know. Let the girlies know. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Shady. Eon put, thanks so much for uh, six months of subscribing with Prime. Now, do you want to leave? You want to leave now? Okay. All right. You're, oh, you going to go? Will she stay or will she go now? Maybe I can just leave the door open now. I closed the door earlier because um, cause I Poe could hear the, the people on the stairwell too easily and he was borking. <clears throat> um, okay, so <laughs> I know y'all are like, oh my God, Zach, can we focus? I know the YouTubies is probably like, can we focus, Zach? The alcohol thing, uh, I haven't read what y'all are saying about it, but my thoughts on it is like, that feels like a really unfair comparison because, one, alcohol is not, like, something you need, right? And, and in fact, is, like, is actually, I mean, like, is actually closer to the concept of poison <laughs> than, than, like, a vegetable, like she thinks, right? Like, you need food, you need, um... You need different nutrients that you get from vegetables and things like that. You don't need alcohol. And in fact, like, it is fine to completely remove alcohol from your your system. Like, I don't understand the comparison here. I don't, I don't think, I don't think they're the same. <laughs> and, and it is kind of, like, worrisome to me, I think, that she, she's put the concept of eating, like, vegetables, um, on the same level as, like, her alcoholism. I think that that's concerning. Yeah, people die from alcohol poisoning. People get alcohol poisoning. You do not get 
veggie poisoning, you know? If she was doing this under a doctor's care, then I'd consider it okay, but she absolutely refuses to see one or even get blood work. And you know what? I, what I will say, after all of my recent <laughs> interactions with doctors, I am prepared to say that some doctors ain't shit. <laughs> Doctors aren't the end-all, be-all. Like, you do have to obviously find one that works for you. But, yeah, I think it would also be different if she did have some kind of guidance from somebody. But here we are. Here we are. That would, like, kind of, like, ease my mind saying, I don't have to quit if I don't want to. And you know what? Nobody does. There's no law saying you can't be a uh, an alcoholic <laughs> who is always drinking. I call myself a sober alcoholic. Uh, yeah. Uh, find one that works for you and your family. Absolutely, Amelia. Thanks. I what did I listen? I don't know all the terminology for sobriety. What does she mean by a? I guess, but when she says that she's a sober alcoholic, that she just means that like she she's still recovering from alcoholism, but she is sober. Because that makes sense. I get that. the The concept that there's no laws keeping people from being like a drunk <laughs> drunk every day i guess that's true i i guess i mean there's probably there's probably laws that that would potentially limit that if it got too bad but <clears throat> Oh, most alcoholics who don't drink use that term. Okay, that's helpful to know. I just was not familiar with that. Um, I don't know. A anyways. Anyways. Um, I forget where my thoughts are. And now Judy's, Judy's distracting me. This girl and her licking. I swear to God, I love her so much. But anytime she's not asleep she is fucking licking something <laughs> she constantly she's just licking the carpet right here <laughs> she's just licking the carpet last night i was in hell i wasn't really but i was laying in bed noel had fallen asleep was snoring and each of the dogs was taking turns making the most unsettling licking noises and I could not fall asleep to save my life. <laughs> Do you hear all the noise she's making now? And now Poe heard something outside in the stairwell. <laughs> my mind can't focus. <laughs> Let me just let her keep talking. And there's no law against it. You're not supposed to drive if you're doing it. But, um, and even though your family is going to be hurt if you die from alcoholism, you still have the right to do that. <laughs> you can hurt your family and, you know, oh, you can hurt yourself. You can make yourself sick. You can do that. What, what, I know what I was going to say is like, I also don't understand how this has anything to do with carnivore. <laughs> and also, why is, why is the law the ultimate, like, arbiter of whether or not you should or shouldn't do something? <laughs> like... Like, okay, so it's not illegal to be a drunk. Doesn't mean that you should. It's not illegal, I guess, to not eat vegetables. Doesn't mean you should. So I used to tell myself that. And then I think maybe over time, I used to, like, set it further away. Uh, and, uh, and now I always say, and it's like a joke, that... When I'm 80, if I want to start drinking again, I will. Because I, I can't imagine I'd ever want to start drinking again at 80. I have no desire to drink. None. So okay. uh, the All other right, thing that uh, helped me to not do that. Oh, yeah. And I want to let everybody know that I never did that. I never went to a restaurant and had scorpion bowls. And just like the bars, I go to the bars dancing. I uh -huh. drink water. I do not drink. I know some of you still think I'm probably having some drinks. Oh, I don't but I'm so. not. I am. I do think having experienced it in recent history myself, it is possible to go to a bar and not, and not drink. I mean, I haven't gone to, to bars as often since I stopped drinking, but sometimes my friends want to go just grab a drink. And you know what I get? Diet Sony. I get a nice Diet Sony for myself and I spend time with my friends because I love and appreciate them. I'm not. But seven years ago, when you see me in the car in that video, I wasn't going out with anybody. I didn't have friends. I wasn't, uh, <laughs> you know, even 
I so, didn't even have the opportunity to drink unless so, I bought it myself at the store. So what it. you're saying is you were lying. <laughs> what you're saying is you were you were presenting it like you had friends at the time, but you didn't. Home and drank, but I wasn't going out, so that that wasn't an issue for me. Uh, I just I guess liked to talk that way. I don't know. The other thing is carnivore has helped a lot of people with drinking problems to stop drinking. See what some people it, don't see, understand is this is <laughs> this is my issue. Carnivore is not a cure. A carnivore, no way that it could possibly cure everything. No way that it could possibly cure everything. I will give it a couple things. Sure, maybe it's possible. It it helps with your inflammation. You know. I imagine eating less carbohydrates in general would help with inflammation. Less sodium in general will help with inflammation, I'm guessing. Right? So, like, I'll I'll give it maybe that. You want me to believe... She said in the past that it's helped... So, today she said her, her mental health. She's also talked in the past about it helping her eyesight. She says that it's helped her eyesight. And now she's over here talking about helping cure alcoholism for people or well i guess she didn't use those words like she said it helps people with their drinking problems tell me more all the the plants that people eat and when i say plants people say well bread isn't a plant bread is made from fucking plants when i say plants people say well bread isn't a plant bread is made from fucking plants and when i say plants people say well bread isn't a plant bread is made from fucking plants and when i say plants people say well bread isn't a plant bread is made from fucking plants bread is made from fucking plants okay you're telling me you fucked a plant to make this bread <laughs> You're telling me you fucked a plant to make this bread? <sighs> I think it does mean that bread is a vegetable. Are you telling me if I go put my dick in a bush, I'll get some bread? Yes. <laughs> Brings a new meaning to made with love. <laughs> Michelle Obama says pizza is a vegetable. <laughs> Remember when Nick Akato Avocado used to yell that all the time? Michelle Obama says pizza is a vegetable. <laughs> all of that stuff, even the vegetables with no carbs, all that stuff, it can fuck with you and it can make you uncomfortable with it bloating. It can with cause you. cravings. It's It doesn't satisfy you, which is why you might be able to eat a gigantic salad and you still want something else to eat that, because you're not satisfied. Speak for yourself. I love eating a gigantic salad and it often does satisfy me. When you eat meat, you're satisfied and you can eat a lot of it. You really can. So I really think that carnivore will help take away cravings for alcohol. I didn't get to experience that. It's Brian. Thanks so much for uh, for the purchase. Appreciate it. I, I, I appreciate it, bestie. For will help take away cravings for alcohol. I didn't get to experience that because I already had stopped drinking. Uh -huh. But there are people reporting it, and I believe them. <laughs> One who mentioned that is there are, there are people reporting it, and I'm believing it. Jordan Peterson... I don't know. He's a Wait. I just, you just need to hear who she's citing, okay? Fucking Jordan Peterson. Get out of here. I believe them. One who mentioned that is Jordan Peterson. I don't know. He's a some guy, I think, from Canada. I think yeah, from some guy who you don't have to fucking listen to. <laughs> who you don't have to fucking listen to. Literally a horrible human being. <laughs> But all right, sure. Take his word for it, Darlene. Take, take his word for it. Jesus Christ. Do some research. Also, look at this. Maybe this will be the thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, who? Jordan Peterson. Okay, let me, I'll give you the, the, I don't remember all the things that are um, awful outside of that he is, um, He's basically 
on the opposite side of the political spectrum than I am. Um, and he, he says a lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> and he got kicked off of Twitter, but then Elon Musk brought him back. Um, yeah, like, if you just go to his Twitter, for instance, um, if you go to his Twitter, he is... Let's just pick out a, a tweet, okay? Hollywood won't make a movie about how laughably absurd it is that we now allow grown men to call themselves women and then dominate women's sports. So we did. Introducing our first feature-length comedy, Lady Ballers, and it's a, a, a movie or something that's making fun of the concept of trans people, okay? All right? <clears throat> so that there's your taste. He's heinous. He's awful. I'm sure people in the chat are um, <laughs> are are providing additional context. Uh, but he is disgusted. Okay, he's he's fucking gross. And of course, she's over here. Well, this guy said it. This is this is the problem. Okay, you're not vetting your sources, Darlene. You're, you're not, you're not vetting, uh, your sources. So, just so we're on the same page about that. All right. Great. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Carly Wizard Lizard, thanks for gifting a sub to the Willard Davis. Appreciate that. Um, let me give Willow a shout out in case anybody wants to go follow him. Oh, this is so... Fuck this system, and it won't let me do what I want to do. I'll have to do, give me, give me two seconds. <laughs> give me two seconds. Is that going to work? There we go. All right. Go follow Willow Davis. He's also on the YouTube. He's go follow him there too. <clears throat> it's a little controversial or something, but he said when he started Carnivore, he stopped drinking. And I know about others who have channels who have said is the it, same. Is it? Their desire to drink went away. So. Is it also not possible they just don't want to drink anymore? <laughs> Is it also not possible that it's completely unrelated? Like, that, that is not equal, like, causation, you know? <laughs> that doesn't equal causation. If you feel like quitting drinking, give it a try. Can't hurt. So, yes, I'm still eating... Uh, beef is my jam. I try to have the bulk of my It doesn't food. sound like jam um, at all. It sounds like beef. My plate, my bowl, whatever uh, is beef. I eat any other kind of meat or fish that I want. I'm big on shrimp lately, ground beef Ooh, with okay. little <laughs> shrimp. Oh, that's so good. And then I <laughs> eat my butter and I'm back to trying really hard to do one and a half sticks. But if I do one... I'm okay with that. That is fucking insane. And I'll go insane. up to two, especially if I'm feeling antsy. That is fucking Especially insane. if I'm going to bed and I'm a little bit hungry or feel like I need to eat. Do you think she just sits down with a, a ring of shrimps <laughs> and eats them? Do you think she just sits down at her table and does a big old shrimp platter mukbang like our girl Amber Lynn? <laughs> but I don't feel like cooking because I don't want to do any dishes before I go to bed. I will um, chomp on a half a stick of butter. That helps me go right to sleep, and I feel really satisfied. I still do dabble with dairy. I, I also... am back to drinking a very weak coffee in the morning. I had stopped coffee. Love, love, love for... my cream all wheat, wheat. Need 100 days of scrimps from Darling. <laughs> Carly, thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. I also am just getting back to also thinking about her, like, suggestion of trying carnivore to, to, to quit drinking. And I think that that is, like, love, absurdly love, 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 we, irresponsible we. on her end, if I'm being honest with you. Um, why does everyone hate on that? It's so good, a whole platter of shrimp, like, everyone out here acting like that was a lot. Amelia, uh, I talked about this recently when Amber Lynn, um reacted to herself doing the the shrimp mukbang platter um and the issue was for me at least I can't speak to everybody else 
Um, the issue was the context of what happened at the time. I think most people do agree with me about this, but the, the context was like the day before she was like literally on YouTube talking about how she was going to start taking things seriously, how she was going to start, um, how she was going to start like, you know, stop doing mukbang, stop eating on camera, this, that, the other. And then literally the next day she, she came out with a video of her doing a mukbang of a, a platter of shrimp. So it was the, it was the overall, and that's me paraphrasing. So like, you can go watch my video where I talked about that way more in depth. Um, but that was the like issue with it. Like, obviously there's worse things she could eat than a like platter of shrimp. Um, it was, it was the context of it at the time, if that makes sense. Um, what was I saying about Darlene though? Oh, incredibly irresponsible, I think, for her to be like, if you want to, um, if you want to give up drinking to just try eating carnivore, you know, because like, I mean, it's one thing if you're like, like, in my shoes, when I was quitting drinking, I don't know that I necessarily was an alcoholic. We've talked about that a lot on, on Twitch, but like, I, I don't think it was like life or death for me to quit drinking. Uh, but you know, like if people are really like alcoholics, I don't know that it's responsible to be like, try this insane, crazy diet under no supervision and try to come off of your, um, try to come off of your alcoholism, you know? How many bits to eat a stick of butter on stream? Uh, none, because, uh, Bestie, I think you've been around to hear me talk about the concerns with my heart. I don't think eating a stick of butter is gonna help my heart or my cholesterol, Bestie. <sighs> I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna help at all. I need a low-carb potato salad mukbang. Uh, low-carb potato salad is coming to the main channel soon. Get excited. <laughs> Get excited. A few months, maybe four or five months, and it's just like a little bit, just for flavor and color, I don't know. And I still put a half stick of butter in my coffee. That is and nuts. I heat a half stick of butter <laughs> with a little bit of milk. Nuts. And then I pour boiling water. I, I love instant coffee. I, oh, and that I little do. bit of coffee that I put in there is half regular coffee and half decaf. I do love also, she's fully made a video. I, I've watched it. We might have reacted to it about her giving up um, caffeine and coffee uh, because she didn't like the way it made her feel. And it's like fascinating to me that she's back to that. And it's also fascinating to me that she talks about um, having dairy and cause she has many times talked about giving up dairy because it made her inflammation worse. And she even said that in this video and she's like, yeah, but I'm still going to do it. So like if the point of carnivore was to help with inflammation, then why would you keep eating dairy, which you say makes your inflammation worse? You know, this is, this is what, how, how easy it is to just, like, poke holes in all of her logic. It doesn't make any sense. And yes, I would say coffee is, is not even technically, it is a plant. It comes from a bean from a plant. So, I, I it's very minimal, and some might say, well, I mean, if she, if she's gonna say that bread is a, is, is a plant, it's made from plants, it's made from fucking plants, it was her exact words, then coffee most definitely is also made from fucking plants, you know? Even bother. I don't know. It's just a mental head game I play with myself. I, I have coffee and I like the listen, color of it. Listen it's to that. It's just a mental head game I play with myself. I, I have coffee and I like the color of it. It's just a mental head game I play with myself. I, I have coffee and there, I like there the color of it. There you go. All, all of this is mental head games for, for Darlene. This is all, like, how, however she can justify the way that she wants to eat, <laughs> you know? A simple Google search will tell you that if you have cirrhosis of the liver, uh, which is a condition some alcoholics have, you should eat, avoid eating meat with every meal, and you should eat plants, lentils, and beans. That's, that's big vegetable, though, that's talking, you know? That's big vegetable that's talking. 
And I like the little bit of flavor and I still add salt to my coffee even though my butter is salted and I still add a couple drops of the, the extract of the my choice and, and cholesterol anise or vanilla. vanilla and then once in a while which I'll have... you know anise and vanilla are also both from plants as well so and just so we're on the same page things like cheese um, not often, because if I have cheese in the fridge, I'm going to just eat a lot of that. And I do still have, like, sandwich meat for once in a while. Okay. Um, but I usually buy it if I know I'm going to be making sandwiches for Derek and Skylar or, or whatever. And so there's not that much left. I'll just use a, a lot of it for them. And I do uh, have some pork rinds now and then. And I'm getting very good at not overeating pork rinds. It's pork, and I try to get I the thought, not seasoned. I thought that there was a, an issue with overeating, that you just eat as much as you want, and you don't have cravings. Why would why would you have to worry about overeating when you said that there's no way to overeat? You just eat what you want. This girl, everything is a fucking contradiction with her, I swear. I swear everything is a contradiction. Or I'll put them in a bag, some seasoned with the plain ones, and shake it, and it's just enough to get the flavor on them. But, um, you know, realistically, I could chow down three or four bags of well, those then, things. Well, then do I it. I try That's, to just chew on a few, a and that seems to work if I'm in the mood for something crunchy. I do miss crunch sometimes, but that's the only crunchy I have is pork rinds. But you don't get cravings. You you miss the the crunchy texture, but you don't get cravings. It's it's different when you just say that you miss eating something. It's not the same as saying you're craving something. You know, you you see the mental head game she's playing with herself. <gasps> what about her crunchy ghee? That's such a good a good question. She used to love that crunchy ghee. She used to love it. She said it crunched. What about crunchy bacon? That could be an alternative for sure. I miss crunchy sometimes makes me think I should call her. <laughs> what about her is crunchy, Brenda? And I have lime in my water at the bar. And lime? I bring salt. I bring coarse salt because I used to love frozen margaritas or any margarita. Had lime salt is a plant! That. So I started bringing salt and I just wet my finger and... Uh, uh, dip in the salt and then bringing salt and I just oh, wet my finger and uh, uh, dip in the salt and then I drink my water and I what that finger do what's that finger do Darlene <laughs> don't get much salt not finger lean finger lean you know, we do need salt and uh, because I'm not eating like a whole lot of processed foods that give us salt. So I have salt when I go out. And that's it. So I was very, very happy that I stopped weighing myself and that I'm not concerned. The last thing I wanted to do was... <laughs> You're not concerned? You were weighing yourself every day hoping to get down to 198? What do you mean? Not to restrict how much I was eating because... That is not what you want to be thinking with carnivore. You want to always be saying, I can eat until I'm satisfied. And it doesn't... But you just a moment ago said you had to limit yourself on eating pork rinds because you could eat three bags if you wanted to. It have to be belly satisfied. It can be mental satisfaction. Like, sometimes we're full, but we still want to eat. If you're feeling that way on carnivore... Just keep eating. If you think, oh, I'm full, I should stop now, but my brain wants more, just eat more. You know, eat it. Just eat it. And don't worry about it and give it time. And I even have not been dancing as much and I still lost. That could be a little bit of the reason why it took a little longer. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do and not worry about I don't how care. quick I can do it or how long it takes. It can be mental satisfaction also makes me think I should call her. The, the, honestly, the stuff she just said about mental satisfaction makes me also concerned, to be honest. Like, that is, that's some wild, wild thought process going on there. 
to to mentally be like I'm full, but I want to keep eating, and so you let yourself keep eating anyways. Because also that's contradicting what she said about craving stuff too, right? Like, is that not a craving to be like I'm I want to keep eating because I'm maybe it's not exactly the same as as a as a craving, but I don't. It just to me, it's not. It's not, it's not adding up. So I'm going to continue more. Now the next one, the next 10 pounds, that will be 150 pounds lost. Oh my God. Right? Because I've lost 140 now. I plan on trying to dig up some clips of past videos so you can see, uh, you know, my weight before. All right, and I will try to do some kind of a slideshow or something. Not a slideshow. For the 150 pounds lost. Not a slideshow. Oh, yeah, and I do want to mention that, yeah, I haven't been doing uh, thrift store try ons because I really stopped shopping. I stopped shopping, and I know I wanted to do a before and after of shirts that were tight once upon a time and fit now. And I discovered that even after losing 30 pounds, most of the tight ones still were tight, at least around the arms. Okay. So I do want to still do that, a before and after, but, uh, you know, we'll get there. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm down to 198, and uh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe that I'm under 200 pounds, <laughs> and I will never see 200 or the number two in the front again. So I went from three in the front to two. Now it's a one, obviously. Uh, I still need to poop, y'all. We're running long. Zach, hurry up. I need to do the literal opposite of eating dinner. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. We're almost done, and you could let that poop free. I'm going to always have a one now in front of my number, and I am still not telling you guys what my kind of I wish I could weigh goal is because I don't want to say it because... It doesn't matter to me if I reach it or not. No, it does matter. Why would you have a number if it didn't matter to you? Sorry for yelling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not about weight loss. I don't care if I... You do. You do. Each time I reach a goal, like the first one was... Uh, when I lost a hundred pounds, I was so satisfied and happy that I really didn't care if I kept losing. I was cool with that. But then now to get under 200, that's also cool. And then now to say I lost 150 pounds the next time, that's going to also be cool. It, uh, so the next time will be what? 188. <sighs> that's the new number I'm going to be watching for whenever I feel like weighing myself down the road. All right. Go check out those playlists and don't scold me for having said that I would have a scorpion bowl in a restaurant. It didn't happen. Remember, it didn't happen. Thank you so much oh, for that's, watching. I'll be she, back. she thought people would be mad because they would think that that actually happened. All right. Okay. Good more soon. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Darlene. We'll tune in again blah, maybe blah, sometime. Blah, 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 blah. Teacher Tay, thanks so much for three months of subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, you're stunning. You're amazing. You look like a Linda Evangelista. Um, all right, YouTubies. Goodbye. <laughs> YouTubies. We're done. Uh, thanks so much for watching, YouTubies. Subscribe. Bye.